Hi everyone, welcome to Mr. Otter's studio. Today we're going to learn something really fun. We're going to learn how to draw a geometric whirl. Now, what is a geometric whirl? Well, this is one, and this is one, and this is one. In a nutshell, it is a polygon or a shape with the same number of sides like you see here and you get the geometric whirl by nesting a sequence of whatever shape it's in within itself and you do that over and over and over but you make it slightly smaller and slightly rotated every time now if you are lost, that's okay. Let me tell you exactly what I mean right now. I'm going to show you how to draw a triangle. You grab a pen and you make it black. Now, you can either use a ruler so that your lines are very straight. You can even measure them or you can just freehand it. Either way, it works. Okay, so start by drawing a triangle. Now yours may be, have the same angles and same measurements, or it may be a little lopsided. I'm not worried about perfection right now. So I've got my base triangle. Now we're going to create the same shape, the same triangle, smaller and rotated that connects to the side. I like to start at whatever corner my last tri triangle ended with or shape ended with. And I'm going to create a little line that starts at that corner and comes up and meets the edge of that side there. And then you do the same thing and you just keep rotating it. That line, you keep going around and around and around. Now, the closer that you bring your lines together, the easier it is to get the look of the... Um, Whirl or the curve. Now take this slow. Some people can do this really fast and it turns out well. Maybe that takes practice. But one of the cool things about this, these geometric whirls, is that they are very repetitive and very, you have to think about what you're doing. So it's a good way to meditate and slow your mind down from all the troubles in the world. So you can just keep going around and around and around. I have my kids do this when they are wound up or when they're having a hard time. And it can be really neat to think about something specific every time you draw a line down. For example, um, sometimes you, I have my kids think about things they're grateful for. So every time they draw a line, they think, I'm grateful for my friends, or I'm thankful for my house. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for flowers. Sometimes if they're having a hard day, I have them think about whatever is troubling them. And I have them pretend that it's going out from their head and flowing into the pen and onto the paper or whatever they're drawing on. And then it's out of them. They can release it and they can turn it into something beautiful that has purpose and meaning. Or if they're working on something specific in their life, like patience or whatever, then I have them cater their techniques to that. So, like, my daughter is a bit of a perfectionist. So sometimes I tell her she's not allowed to erase. Okay, speaking of erase, let's erase this. Isn't that awesome? There's our triangle. That is really cool. Okay. Ooh. Now, let's... Do a square. So we're just adding one more side, right? 
right. Rightio. We'll just use that square. And then we'll use a line. Let's pretend we started at the bottom left. So start at the corner. Same thing we did with the triangle. You're just drawing those shapes within each other. Smaller and slightly rotated. Keeping your lines close together. See, I'm going a little fast and getting a little sloppy, so I'm going to slow down. Try to uh, slow down self. <laughs> These patterns when they're practiced, can be achieved by many different skill levels. I'm going to finish off that line right there. So, for example, my two-year-old is getting the swing of the these geometric whorls, the patterns. I have five kids. They range in age from six months old to nine years old. And the six-month-old isn't quite drawing, but everybody else is, and everybody finds relief in, in this meditative drawing. We like to turn on some zen-type music. There's just hours and hours and hours of free zen music or meditation music that you can find on YouTube or whatever. And I just got these lamps that are made from salt crystals. And they just give a really warm, soft glow. If you're wanting to relax, set up the ambiance. But the cool thing about this is that even if you're unable to escape a certain amount of chaos around you, you can escape it in your head doing these patterns but you want to stay present you don't want to get completely lost you just want to be able to tune out the noise enough to focus on what you need to focus on this is turning into a meditation lesson huh <laughs> instead of just a drawing lesson but I mean, you can't do this drawing technique without slowing down and relaxing. So even if I said nothing about meditation to you, or mindfulness, or whatever, whatever I'm talking about regarding relaxation and meditation and doodling, it probably would have happened naturally anyway. Check out those whirls that are developing. I love how it looks like there's curved lines when all I'm using are straight lines. I also think it's really neat that the it looks like there's shadows developing. It's a bit close. There's shadows developing around those whirls or the curved looking lines because of the closeness of the lines there. So you can actually do some really cool things with shading and pencils in this, but you don't even need to really because it just naturally shades itself. Getting fast and lazy, you guys. Sorry. Fix that line. Oh, that's a cute line.
Now there's so many variables to, okay, I'm, I've got to clean up those lines. There's so many variables to this type of drawing that will change the look of it. For example, how far apart your lines are, or how thin your lines are, or how symmetrical or even your measurements are. You can even do this with slightly curved lines, however, I don't recommend it. I think it kind of takes away some of the magic of what happens when you just use curved lines, but you should experiment and have fun. Okay, let's call that one good. How cool is that? Oh, I love it so much. All right, how about let's try one more? And we will, let's do one with a few more shapes or a few more um, sides. Let's do an octagon. Oops, I need to make that straight. At least I want to for the video. So an octagon has eight sides, right? You can think of an octopus having eight legs or octomom having eight babies. <laughs> anyway, okay. So, same thing. We're going to go the same shape within itself, but smaller and slightly rotated. I really like the octagon because by the end it reminds me of a rose or a flower. We can actually do some really pretty things turning these geometric whorls into pictures or other drawings. You can also take an entire drawing and fill in Find the shapes that you can fill in with the geometric whorls. I did a tree the other day just of geometric whorls. It was really cool. Because you can connect these lines, or these shapes. And if you follow the same pattern, the same rotation, if you rotate the same way, then every shape that's connected, every geometric whorl that is connected will actually look like it's all intertwined and tangled up and, and part of this big giant woven pattern. Let me show you what I mean actually. Let's say, okay so we've got this octagon Let's say on one of the sides we want to add this four-sided shape. And then we do the geometric whorl within that. What you'll start to see is that the lines that we drew in the octagon are now forming another shape with the shape I'm, that's connected to it. Do you see what I'm talking about? I'm talking about this, sh oopsie, I'm talking about like this shape right here and other ones will form also. It's so fascinating. Where was I? Okay. It's the thing, if you take your attention and focus away, it is so easy to get lost and have no idea where you were. Another reason this is great meditation. Because it helps you just be in your 
present and mindful. You can connect as many shapes as you want. Actually, there are as many geometric whirls. And as long as you go the same direction and you rotate them every time, they will just naturally ah what's going on there they will naturally unite in pattern all of their own it's so amazing finish this so I'm just going to keep drawing and let you guys watch. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to share your projects with us on Mr. Otter's Facebook page. You can also find Mr. Otter. We now have an Instagram account. And we're excited about that. So come find us there. We're just new. Unless you know you're watching this a year from now. But we have fun together constantly posting new videos that just have to do with many things creative, artistic. We don't just draw, we paint, we do sculpture, all sorts of things. If you have any ideas for tutorials, put them in the comment section below. We'd love to hear your ideas. Tell us what you thought of this video. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it so we know to keep making more like it. And comment. Your feedback is really important to us. We just love connecting with our viewers and those who join us. Pentagon.
Slow down. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Okay. Alright guys, I'm really going to sign off this time. <laughs> Bye!